Alright guys, how's it going? Welcome to another video. This is going to be a pickup video, which I've not done for quite a while. Uh, again, just not really like buying as many games. And, um, you know, trying to like, play some of the games I've got that I've not played for yet. And, uh, yeah, just trying to cut back on buying them. I've got too many. So, um, but yeah, I do have some games uh, that I've picked up here. Again, from like, you know, months, basically. So, anyways, yeah, let's get on with uh, the pickup, shall we? So I've got a mixture here, I've got uh, three Xbox 360 games, a PS2 game, and uh, three PS3 games. So I guess we'll start with the PS3 games. Uh, I got these both on the same day, and uh, this was from a, a second hand shop. And this was, um first one was a Sniper Elite V2, which apparently has now got a PS4 release, and you know, an Xbox One release, a remastered version of this game. So you can see there, I got it for four pound, which what was an alright price. It's actually dropped now since obviously the PS4 version came out, so you can probably get this for like three pound now. Probably it's I'll say it's dropped. Um, okay, it doesn't come with anything, just uh, the disc. I thought it felt a bit light. <laughs> um, disc is yeah, not too bad. A few very very small scratches, but. I've put a couple of hours into it and you know had no problems, so just very small scratches. I can't get into this game, like I got a couple of hours into it. It's fun for a little while, but it's a very, very frustrating game. Like the stealth for me just doesn't work well at all. Like you get de like detected like so damn easy. Like, I just feel like the enemy's bullets like never miss as well. So yeah, it's, know, it seems a bit challenging for me. It's just not very really marking the thing. It's a bit aggravating. Um, I do like obviously the sniper kills, how you get like you know get slow mos and you get like the X ray vision, how like the bullet like penetrates like the body and stuff. That's cool. I really like that. You know, it's very very brutal. You know, you can like if you shoot somebody in the mouth, you see like people's like teeth go flying and stuff. Very very brutal stuff. Um, so that is cool. But yeah, the gameplay itself, it's I don't know, it's aggravating. It really really is. I got about two hours in, maybe two and a half hours. I just can't bother with it anymore. I don't think it's a very long game, but yeah, I can't bother with it. I'd rather play something else. So, yeah, Sniper Elite V2. I'll probably just stick this one on eBay because I just can't bother with it to be honest. So, there's that one. And the next one I got on the same day, and from that same shop, and that is Dynasty Warrior Seven, which this one was two pound fifty, which was a really good price, I think. I mean, it's not a game that goes for a lot. It probably goes for like three or four pounds on eBay, but yeah, it's still a real good price in my opinion. And that comes complete. This, look at them size. That's miles huge, man. I don't think there's look at the size of that. I don't think there's a lot in it though. I think it's just well, there is actually. Look at this woman. Looks all coloured. God, coloured manuals. God. God, those were the days. But yeah, real cool manual, I guess. And uh, disc is again a few minor scratches, but yeah, again with second hand shops you can you know you can take a bit of risk <laughs> to be honest. But I put a lot of time into this game. I actually got hooked in this game. This game was a lot of fun. Like I've never been like massive into Dynasty Warriors. I thought they were okay for a little while, but they got extremely boring. Like very very repetitive. But for some reason I really got into this game. I don't know what it was, but I really got into this game. I've uh, completed the conquest mode, which probably took about 18 hours or something. It was really, like, it was quite long. It about 18 to 20 hours. And uh, I completed one of the, the stories for one of the factions. There's like four factions. I've completed one of the stories, so I need to complete the other three stories. But yeah, I would say I've put about, maybe about 23 hours into this game. Like, I really like this game. I think this game's a lot of fun. I've not played it in like a month. I got a little bit burnt out, but... Yeah, like I definitely want to go back to it and, you know, play as, like, some of the other factions and things. Um, there's, like, so many different cards you can play as, like, so many different weapons you can collect. Yeah, it's a lot of fun. Um, I think this is a really, really good game. My favourite Dynasty Warriors game so far, I would say. Uh, not saying much, because I've not played, like, too many. I've played six, I've played five, I think, and Strike Force. And um, I thought those ones were a little bit repetitive, but this one was a lot of fun. Yeah, it's repetitive in a way as well, but for some reason I got, I really got into this game. I don't know why. I found, like, the dialogue very, you know, entertaining and stuff. I liked, you know, the cutscenes and things. 
I don't know, they're pretty damn interesting, so yeah, Dance to War 7, real good game in my opinion. Definitely like encouraged me to buy some more. And then the next one we got is a game that I've been looking for for a little while. And I went on eBay for about four pounds or seven, four pound twenty, I think it was. And uh, yeah, I don't really like this game very much. Um, I just think it's very, very repetitive. It's very gimmicky. Uh, and once that gimmick wears off, you realise it just gets a bit boring. And I think it's a little bit too like kiddy as well. I mean, I do quite like you know like platforming games, you know, family friendly games. But uh, for me, this one's a little bit too kiddy. Which is a shame, but it is a Disney Epic Mickey 2, uh, The Power of 2. I was going to say The Power of Us for a second, but yeah, The Power of 2. Yeah, it's Mickey Mouse. You know, I love Mickey Mouse. Really, really cool character. Who doesn't like Mickey Mouse? Come on. Let's see how it comes. Good boy. Um, is that manual? It's a decent sized manual, it's not a cover manual, it's just, yeah, but it is a manual, so that's, that's something. Disc is, it's not bad, one little, scra one little scratch over there, but, yeah, it's not terrible. Um, but, um, yeah, I just don't think this game's that great, like, I think it's like kids would like it, I think. Um, but yeah, I just think it's too kiddy, you know. Um, I thought it'd be more like platform like orientated, which you know it does have some platforming sections, but it's most about like like painting over things and stuff. And then you can like use like a paint thinner to like thinning things out so you can like delete things and yeah. I don't know, it's it's, it's kinda of, it reminds me a little bit of the Lego games, but without the Lego. You know how you like just go around like doing little like side tasks and things and yeah, it's it's not my cup of tea. I got maybe like an hour and a half in. I'm like, I, I don't really like this game too much. So, um, but the, like the environments in that are absolutely beautiful. Very, very beautiful stuff. Very colourful. Uh, very, very pretty. You know, platformer. Like, if it was like more like platformer, it'd be a really cool looking platformer. But it's just not enough platforming sections. It's just mostly about the paint. And I think it's kind of like for the move, where you can like use the move to like paint all over the things and stuff. But Obviously, I don't have a move, so yeah, it's very, very gimmicky. So, yeah, not my cup of tea. Um, I'll stick to Mickey's World Adventure on the PS1 or um, or uh, World of Illusion on the Mega Drive. That was, a, that was a great game. Really, really like that game. So, yeah, not for me, uh, sadly. Okay, so let's get into some of the better games now, since the only good game I've mentioned, in my opinion, is Dynasty War 7. Um, this was a PS2 game that I picked up at a charity shop for 50 pence, so I wasn't going to say no to this. Um, the disc is quite, it's got a lot of scratches on it, but it still works from what I've played so far, so, yeah, quite lucky with that. And it's actually a PS2 game I've been wanting to get for a little while, but it's obviously like 5 or £6 on eBay. It's a little bit, you know, too expensive for a PS2 game in my opinion, even though I do want the game. But uh, yeah, it's so grateful to see it for 50 pence. And that is, um, this game, Scarface, the world is yours. You wanna play it off? Okay. Say hello to my little friend. Yeah, Scarface. Everybody knows Scarface. So many good quotes in that movie. Um, yeah, Scarface, the world is yours. Not really. It's, it's clearly Tony Montana's world. It's not my world. Let's see, it comes complete. I don't think this would... Maybe this would be a game that had a map, like, initially, but it didn't have a map. You know, like, the Grand Theft Auto, like, style games usually have, like, maps and things. Um... But yeah, the disc is really, it's really, God, it's really scratched, um, but it seems to work okay. I've played about four hours into the game. It's actually a really, really fun game. Like, I think it's a lot of fun. I mean, I'll do this, but it's like, there's no point. I'm sure there's no point, guys. But, I mean, you see my coats and everything, look. But you'll see probably no scratches. But, um, yeah. It's really bad with scratch, but it seems to work so far, so... I don't know, maybe I'll get near the end of the game and maybe it'll crash or something, I don't know. But yeah, it's a really cool game. It kind of reminds me a little bit of uh, Grand Theft Auto Vice City. You know, like the whole like, 80 setting. It's really, really cool. I love like, 80 settings, like stuff. It is really, really cool. Um, yeah, gameplay is just a lot of fun. You know, just going around shooting things, like taking over like territories, buying like businesses and things. 
you know, to progress the story. Um, yeah, just just a lot of fun. You know, I really really enjoyed this game. Love the soundtrack. Obviously, it's got the Scarface soundtrack, but it's got you know, it's got some original soundtracks as well, like Johnny Cash and Earth, Wind and Fire, and some other people I can't remember, but. It does have some original songs, but I love the Scarface soundtrack. Yeah, soundtrack's really, really good with like Amy Holland and things. Uh, it's really, really cool. So yeah, Scarface, the world is yours. Played it for about four hours and really, really enjoy it. I think it's a lot of fun, and uh, yeah, definitely a game I'm going to you know, continue with and play through. And obviously it's got all the quotes from the movies, you know, say hello to my little friend, and all the other bad language stuff, you know. as um, It's got a lot of bad language. If you're not into that, you probably won't like this game. So, um... Probably even more than Grand Theft Auto, as far as bad language goes, which is saying something. But um, yeah, a lot of fun. Really, really like this game. So um, next we got into the Xbox 360 games, which I got from... Um, it's Music Magpie on eBay. Um, so I got, them, I got three for like £6.30 or something, so yeah, not bad. Um, I know they're not like like expensive games or anything. One's like slightly more expensive than another two. I mean, another two you could probably get them for like a pound, like a shop or something, probably. But yeah, I've, I've never been that fortunate with these games. But um, so yeah, but music, like Music Magpie, they're kind of like a very risky kind of thing. It's like e stocks when they were on eBay. They always like list everything as like very good condition, but a lot of the times you never know what you were gonna get. I mean, I've usually been quite lucky with them. But you hear like horror stories of people like getting like games of like different languages, different regions. Obviously, they wouldn't work. Um, getting like bits of food and stuff inside the cases and stuff, which again I've never had. So you see really like interesting, like funny stories, you know. People getting sent the wrong games and stuff, you know. It's it's funny. I I do like reading, uh, you know, reading like the negative feedbacks. You usually get a laugh, you know. Um. <laughs> So yeah, I got three games and they all work. They all seem, you know, pretty damn good conditions. So yeah, I'm happy with that. So start off with what I would probably say is the best one of the bunch, and this is Alan Wake. Yep, this game is. I knew this game was going to be right up my street. It's a bummer, like a horror game. It's like a horror thriller, like sci-fi kind of thing. It's really bummer good though. I really like this game. This is a lot of fun, and. <laughs> this arrived in like this really like crappy like cheap DVD case, I believe it is. I mean it's alright, I mean it like it blends in with the cover, you know, the black. So maybe it gives you that kind of like illusion, I guess. But now nah, it looks like when I put it on the shelf and have a Xbox 360 games, it really like stands out, so yeah, I do want to replace that, but yeah. <laughs> you can see cut. See the the back there, really, really cool and stuff. So basically, it's, it's described as a, a psychological action thriller, which I guess it is. And I've put horror in there as well. It's a little bit like horror. -y. You have to like you know be careful with your ammo if you run out of ammo and stuff. So you don't want to do that. Let's see, comes complete. Uh, add on content card. I don't know what the add-on content will be. Manuals, pretty damn good as well. Colour manual as well, awesome. Uh, disc is... I mean, I'm, I'm sure they have, like, disc cleaning machines, because that looks, like, brand new, and I'm sure it, it won't, like, have arrived in that condition. <laughs> yeah, they probably use, like, a disc cleaner, like, a very really expensive, like, disc cleaner to, like, cover the scratches, but that, yeah, that looks, that looks perfect. Awesome stuff. You see the, let me see that at the back of there, look. Look here. <laughs> yeah, it's all cracked, look. This one is like cheap cases. I mean, you could sneeze on it and it would crack it. It's really like cheap material. You know, I don't like those cases, they're awful. But uh, yeah, I'll replace it at some point. I'll just buy like an old like FIFA game in a charity shop or something. I can replace the case. But yeah, Alan Wake, great stuff. Uh, there's these like shadowy like guys that come after you. Like you shine your torch in them and then you shoot them, and you have to like conserve like, even like your uh, your flashlight battery as well, because um, you can run out of batteries and then you can't use your torch, which you know the enemies become invincible. You have to run away from them and hide inside the light, because when you're in the light, the enemy can't get you. But when you're in the darkness, they come after you, and you have to like r try and get yourself into the light. 
It's a really, really good stuff. I love Alan Wake as a character. I think he's a really, really interesting character. I love the way the story's going. You don't really know what's happening. It's, it's all over the place. You know, just like a, one of those, like, thrillers. You don't know what's going to happen. It's very, very exciting stuff. And, uh, yeah, very, very tense game. So, Alan Wake, loving this game so far. What a fun. I put about four hours into the game, so I'm probably about halfway. I don't want it to end. It's, it's so fun. It really, really is. And the uh, next two games we've got, again, in my opinion, good games as well. And, um, again, these ones aren't on... Well, this one actually is on PlayStation, which I didn't actually know about. This is actually on PlayStation now. It's on PlayStation 4. They've got a remaster, but apparently it's not a very good port. So, yeah, maybe I'm, I should be grateful that I've got the, the Xbox 360 version. And that is a Dead Rising. Never like horror kind of game. Horror month, guys. It's October. To play some horror games, you know. And see, that comes complete. What's that? Coming soon. What the hell is that? Playable demo of Lost Planet. Ugh! Lost Planet. Ugh! That game's awful. Well, <laughs> I've actually not played that game. I've played Lost Planet 2 and Lost Planet 3. I, don't, I didn't like the games, so I don't think Lost Planet 1 will be any better. I really, <laughs> really don't. Uh, anyway, what's the planet? Ugh. Right. Again, comes complete with a manual. What the hell? Something like spilt in there, I think. Coffee or something. Um, yeah, decent sized manual. There's all your survivors to try and rescue them and stuff. There's a little map in there as well of the, the mall. Uh, this is. Again, really, really good condition. Oh, it's like. A couple of tiny little scratches, but you, you hardly notice them. So yeah, it might be in good condition as well. Um, yeah, Dead Rising. So I've got a very like love and hate relationship with Dead Rising. Sometimes I love the game, sometimes I hate the game. It's the same with Dead Rising too. I don't know what it is about this game. It's it's frustrating, but it's it's still fun at the same time. I don't know what's going on. It's a very very strange game. Like when I first played Dead Rising two. I had a very, very, like, up and down experience. Like, I loved it, and then I hated it, and I loved it, and I hated it, and just, in the end, I actually loved the game. You know, it's just one of those kind of games. You have to, you have to be in, like, the right mood to play it, because it's is, it is a pretty tough game at times, you know? Especially when, like, the, the psychopaths come at you. I actually think this game's, like, more difficult than the second game. I feel like the second game, the zombies are a bit more, like, docile. Like, you can run past them a lot easier in the second game, where this, they'll grab you, like, so damn easy. So, um, yeah, I'd probably say this one's, like, harder. But, yeah, it's still a really, really good game. Very, very tense game because you're on, like, a time limit. And if you don't do things in a certain amount of time, basically, the game will end. And you have to go back to, like, a save point. Um, so, yeah, you're on, you're on time, basically, you know. You have to do things in a certain, like, time, which definitely, like, increases, you know, how tense it can be, you know. But, yeah, I really like this game. It's a lot of fun. Died, like, many, many times already. And played about three hours into the game, so uh, yeah, fun game, but um, again, it's you have to be in the right mood, because it's very, very tense, you know. And um, yeah, we're going to a relaxing game now, and that is Forza Motorsport 2. So yeah, never uh, Xbox exclusive for the collection. Even though I'm, I'm sure these games are on PC, but obviously I don't play PC games, so yeah, it's not on PlayStation anyway. So yeah, I absolutely loved Forza Motorsport 3, so you know, I thought I'd get the, the second game as well. I don't know what's going on here, look. It's like little black dots all over the place, look. And the disc as well. Little black dots. I don't know what is going on there. Um, <laughs> it's really strange. But look at, look at the size of this manual, it's huge, look. Massive manual. Again, coloured as well. I really miss the days of colour manuals, I really, really do. You don't get them nowadays. Disc is... Again, this one just seems like it's been put from a machine as well. It's like brand new, basically. So, um, yeah, great stuff. Yeah, it's a little bit like powdery there, so yeah, it must have been put through a machine. But yeah, I really don't know what's going on with the dots. It's, it's very, very weird. But yeah, Forza Motorsport 2 put about... Four hours into this game, maybe so far. Again, really, really good stuff. 
Um, it's the kind of game that, if I like, want to like, listen to music or something, I'll put like a, a racing game on, so this is like the perfect game for that. Um, yeah, just a lot of fun, you know? Very, very good stuff. It's, this one feels more like Gran Turismo, like with the menus and things, how you like, you select your event, and these events got like different like restrictions and things. So yeah, very Gran Turismo like, you know? This is what Gran Turismo 5 and 6 should be. Gran Turismo 5 and 6 are very, very boring games. You know, I do prefer, like, Gran Turismo 1, 2, 3, and 4. They were really, really good games. But, yeah, Gran Turismo 5 and 6 are boring. Like, Forza games, like, Forza Motorsport 3 and Forza Motorsport 2, in my opinion, are a lot better than, you know, Gran Turismo 5 and 6. You know, I just don't know what's happened to Gran Turismo nowadays. They just seem boring. I don't know what, what it is about the games. But, yeah, really, really good stuff. I'm definitely going to, you know, continue with this game, play through it. And uh, yeah, just have a lot of fun. So yeah, for more Motorsport 2. So yeah, guys, yeah, that is it for pick up this video, guys. Hope you guys have enjoyed this. Um, again, a mixed bag in a way, but I was still obviously there's still more like positives than negatives. Um, but I do feel like it's like six pound thirty for these games is pretty good. I mean, like I said, this one's probably like, you can probably get like a pound in a shop, and this one's probably a pound. But you just see Alan Wake for about like four pound or seven, so or three or four pounds, so. You know, I just wanted the games, you know. I wanted more Xbox 360 games. Cause I'm not, I've only got like two Xbox 360 games that I've not played through. And I didn't like those games, so I didn't really want to go back to them. Like, Two Human and uh, Dark Messiah of Mighty and Magic. I didn't like those games. I don't really have much of a desire to go back to them. So, yeah, I wanted some new games to play through on Xbox. So... So anyways, yeah, I hope you guys have enjoyed this, guys. Um, let me know what you think of any of these games. And, um, yeah, I will catch you all in the next video. See you guys. Thanks for watching.